okay so in this lecture we are going to study the fifth type of uh, problems we are going to study the fifth type of problem let me write the type 5 which is x into v where v is some function of x okay so let us take some initial notes let me say notes now assume that if u is some function of x let u be any function of x we will do some calculations for example so the derivative of x into u u is some function of x means u is what u is some u of x it depends on x what is the derivative of x into u so this is also function of x this is also function of x so i can use the product rule x into the derivative of u plus the derivative of x is 1 into u as it is so this means that the d of x into u is equal to x du plus u okay so let's keep this in mind let's call it one now let me calculate what is d square of x into u further taking the double derivative d square of x into u is equal to d of dx u which is equal to d of dx u is by 1 and we will get it as x du plus u which is equal to so I'll separate the derivative. So derivative to this and derivative to this. So it is derivative of x into du plus derivative of u, which I will just write du. Du means the derivative of u. Now here again I have to use the product rule. This is also function of x. This is also du is also function of x product rule. So what will the product rule here? First person as it is into the derivative of the second. What is the derivative of du? It is d square u, the double derivative of u plus derivative of x is 1 into second person as it is du plus this du is as it is what i have observed it is x d square u means x will multiply it by the x will be multiplied by the double derivative of u plus 2 d u d u plus d u is 2 d u so we have observed that d square of x into u is equal to x d square u plus 2d u therefore if i try to find the third derivative now of x into u i guess that it should be x into third derivative of u plus what should be coming here 
इंटू यू इसे डी स्क्वायर का डेरिवेटिव इज टू डी राइट इन इक्वेशन वन द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी वॉज वन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी राइट सो दिस डेरिवेटिव इज विथ नॉट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स बट दिस डेरिवेटिव इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी सो यर आई मस्ट गेट अ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी क्यूब वट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी क्यूब विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी दैट इज थ्री डी स्क्वेर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कैपिटल डी कैपिटल डी इज दिस कैपिटल डी दैट वी यूजिंग इज वॉट इट इज द डेरिवेटिव विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स बट हियर आई वॉन्ट टू राइट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी क्यूब विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी विच इज थ्री डी स्क्वेर ओके इन जनरल डी एन हाउ डू अप्रूव दिस यूजिंग इंडक्शन बाय इंडक्शन यू विल स्किप द इंडक्शन प्रूफ यूर डी एन एक्स यू जी कुल डो एक्स डी एन यू प्लस वट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डी रेस टू एन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी दिस एन डी रेस टू एन माइनस वन यू इन जनरल इफ f of t is a differential operator then this is f of t so now i hope all of you know what is meaning of a differential operator d is to n plus b n minus 1 d is to n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus b 1 d plus b not okay and same thing i will do f of t x u okay and what will that be equal to i hope you now understand what is the step that is going to come here what is f of d f of d is this then i will multiply it by what i will multiply it by x u for example let me show you one step i am not going to do the complete proof so what is f of d d is to n plus not dot dot plus b not x u this x u i will multiply to each person and then i will use the above result it is x d is to n u plus n d is to n minus 1 u plus same thing P not x u. This there there will be no difference. And then when I collect the terms which were containing x, the second term will also be having two terms. Each term is giving you rise to two terms. So when I collect all the terms which were having x, what will I get? I'll get x. And then I will get again get my polynomial back. D is to n. C D is to n. f d and u is with respect to with, with them plus what will happen if i collect all the remaining terms when i collect all the remaining terms this is nothing but what n d is to n minus 1 means it is a derivative of this with respect to d the next term i will get the derivative of this with respect to d means it is the derivative of which person 
f of d with respect to d into u. Okay, I have collected all the terms. So what we get is, so what have you observed? So we get, let me write it clear, you know. We get f of d. This is f of dx u. Z equal to x f of d u plus the derivative of f of d u. This is what we have obtained. Now, what I will do is the thing we did in the type 4, the same calculations we have done for type 4. Okay, I do everything separately for the derivative first. Then I use all those formulas and substitute in the FD format and I get the formula uh, this thing in terms of f of d and then i use some substitution so what is the substitution now substitute f d u equal to v by that i simply mean to say that put u equal to 1 upon fdv a similar type of substitution was used in yesterday's derivation also so this means that f of t x u 1 upon f of d v this is your u equal to x f d u what is f d u f d u is v plus the derivative of f of d u what is u 1 upon f of d v which is please note that this f of t and this f of t cannot cancel okay i hope you realize that why that cannot cancel let me write it and upon f of t v is equal to x into v plus let us write this term now as f dash t upon f t v okay this f t uh, f d is with the derivative so you cannot cancel the f d f d and lastly i will operate 1 upon f t both sides which are which we do in all the proofs when I do that this one upon ft integration with this differential this will nullify one upon ft of this plus one upon ft of this So this goes away. So what am I remaining with? X one upon F D V equal to one upon F T X V plus F dash T upon F D square V. Therefore, I got the formula 
1 upon fd of xv is equal to x 1 upon fdv plus not plus minus f dash d upon fd square v so this becomes my formula for upcoming problems. Okay, it is not difficult to remember. This is as good as product rule. X into V is what? X into the integral. So I'm saying integration, I'm integrating, but I'm using the product rule of the derivatives formula. Okay, this is actually one of one FD's integration. But the formula will be remembered in terms of the derivatives formula. Means x into the integration of the second term plus what is the what is the derivative of x? That is one. What is the deri what is the derivative of one upon f d? What is the derivative of one upon f d? It is uh, one upon minus one upon f d square into the derivative of that function into the v as it is this is how you can barely remember the formula derivative of 1 over x is 1 over minus 1 over x square so this is at minus 1 over x square into the derivative of that internal person right what is the derivative of 1 upon function the derivative of 1 upon function is minus 1 upon fx square into f dash x so this is that component Okay, so let us do some problems now. Question. So I'll, I'll find YP. D2Y by dx square plus 4y is equal to x sin x solution you have a new yp yp is 1 upon fd right hand side what is fd here here my FD it's D squared plus 4 D squared plus 4 X sin X so what does the formula say the formula says take X into 1 upon fdv means d squared plus 4 p sin x minus the derivative of this person what is the derivative of d squared plus 4 2d and the downstairs you will have its square so d squared plus 4 square into sin x v fd uh, the derivative it's square and only v v is sin x and now i have to solve this problem independently once i have through this formula now you have to use all your old methods this means that this is a different sum and this is a completely different sum here it is sin 1x so a is 1 so a square is 1 and therefore a is minus a square is minus 1 and therefore d square is replaced by minus 1 so what will this be x into 1 upon minus 1 plus 4 sin x please go through those methods thoroughly otherwise you'll be completely in panic that how will you solve this sum 
okay first second and third method should be confirmed known to you minus here also d square will be replaced by again it is sign 1x so d square will be replaced by minus 1 this 2d i will keep as it is minus 1 plus 4 square sin x and this would be x upon 3 sin a sin x minus 1 upon this will become uh, 1 by 9 which is 2 by 9 d sin x and d sin x is cos x so it's simple actually minus 2 by 9 cos x will become your yp question find yp d square plus 4 y equal to x sin 2x okay solution i think this question will be slightly tedious for us let us try so yp is equal to 1 upon fd x sin x x sin 2x means 1 upon d square plus 4 x sin 2x which is equal to x into 1 upon d square 1 upon fd which is d square plus 4 v sin 2x minus derivative f dash d upon what f d ka square into v as out there what is the derivative of d square plus 4 d square plus 4 derivative is 2d remember who is your f d here f d is d square plus 4 upon d square plus 4 square sine 2x now this is going to be tough so there is a slight problem here anyways handling this part is easy but handling this part is not easy this is something which is not yet covered in the lectures Okay, which is equal to still even handling this part is for some of us will not be so quick. So if I have a equal to 2 here, then a square will be 4 and d square will be replaced by minus a square is minus 4. d square is replaced by minus a square which is minus 4. And when I put here d square is minus 4, minus 4 plus 4 will become 0 and that will become the case of failure similarly here when i put d square as minus 4 here also i will get a case of failure you know what is the formula for the case of failure for sine ax and cos ax as far as sine ax and cos ax is concerned i remember the case of failure formulas were 1 upon d square plus a square sine ax 1 upon d square plus a square cos ax actually i don't need cos ax so i'll just omit it I mean edit, let me write it, still write it. Is uh, sin integral is minus cos. So it is minus x upon 2a 
cos ax and this is x upon 2a sin ax okay in a general there is also a formula in general for case of failures so let me just write it down here give me a minute but in general the situation is like this which can be proved by actually it can be proved by induction so it is 1 upon d square plus a square suppose it comes r times okay sin ax and 1 upon i'm why i'm writing this case because i have to use it here it is coming two times 1 upon d square plus 4 whole square okay now it is 1 upon d square plus a square r cos ax this is to be done by induction it is minus 1 power r see there is an alternative plus and minus sign so in the general formula you will have minus 1 power minus 1 power r x power r upon r factorial 2a raised to r so if you put r equal to 1 you will observe that you will get, you will get this formula minus 1 power 1 is 1 minus 1 x power 1 1 factorial and 2a raised to 1 means 2a okay cos sorry sine see i have written a cos but still in the general i am writing sine ax plus r pi by 2 which means sin of ax plus r equal to 1 sin a, ax plus pi by 2 is cos ax and what about the cos thing minus 1 raised to r same thing x raised to r upon r factorial 2a raised to r and cos ax plus r pi by 2 again the same logic so cos of ax plus pi by 2 will be minus sin x that minus and this minus will cancel each other so you will get a plus sign over here when you put r equal to 1 so by these formulas it means that this is equal to x this I will directly use this formula minus x upon 2 into 2 cos 2x minus 2 upon d square plus 4 whole square into 2 cos 2x how this came instead of taking the integral first instead of taking this part first let me go instead of taking this part first i have taken this part first you can do that okay what is derivative of sine 2x derivative of sine sine 2x is 2 cos 2x so that 2 cos 2x i have got and now this can be written as 4 so this will become minus x square upon 4 cos 2x minus 4 1 upon d square plus 4 whole square cos 2x and now i can use this formula general formula which is minus x square upon 4 cos 2x minus 4 minus 1 raised to 2 minus 1 raised to r what is the value of r here r is 1 r is sorry r is 2 minus 1 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial 2 into a a is also 2 square cos 2x plus 2 pi by 2 r pi by 2 simplify this if you want you can simplify this so for me 
one who reaches here is done. Okay, find YB. D square minus 2D plus 1Y equal to X E raised to X sin X x e raised to x into sin x now here if you observe that we have done basically type 4 and type 5 was saying what type 4 was trying to say e raised to x into v and type 5 was saying x into something now the question comes here that should i look this question as e raised to x into x sin x or should I look the above question as x into e raised to x sin x? Should I look it as e raised to x into v? Or should I look it as x into v? So what is the wise suggestion? The wise suggestion is always try to solve a sum by type 1. If not type 2, type 3. These are basic types. Then always go for type 4. It means always go for e raised to ax type. And in the worst case, go for the fifth type because the formulas become difficult and difficult as you go for till the fifth type. Right. So I would suggest here that we should look this right hand side not as x into v but we should look it as in what format e raised to ax into v. When I solve this, you'll understand what I'm trying to do. So yp is equal to 1 upon fd, which is d square minus 2d plus 1 into x e raised to x sin x which we will fit in the type of e raised to ax into v format which is e raised to x into x sin x so who is playing the role of v here a is 1 and v is x sin x okay and what is the formula what is the formula we are going to use here? Type 4 ka formula 1 upon fd e raised to ax v is equal to e raised to ax comes out as it is, uh, but it leaves its flavor f of d plus a into v. This is the formula which is equal to e raised to x will come out. 1 upon in the right hand side x sin x will remain as v and what will happen downstairs d will be replaced by d plus a but who is a d will be replaced by d plus 1 so here I'm going to replace d by d plus 1, which is d plus 1 whole square minus 2 d plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to e raised to x upon d square plus 2d plus 1 minus 2d minus 2 plus 1 x sin x 2d minus 2d plus 1 plus 1 minus 2 all gets cancelled you remain with e raised to x 
1 upon d square x sin x now this looks like x into v what is v here v is sin x what is fd here fd is d square what is the derivative of fd the derivative of fd is 2d and therefore what is the formula that i'm thinking of i'm thinking of is 1 upon fd x into v is equal to x 1 upon fdv minus f dash upon fd whole square into v which is e raised to x into i'm using this formula now x into 1 upon fd means 1 upon d square into v v is sin x minus derivative of d square is 2d upon fd square means it is d square square is d raised to 4 into sin x which is e raised to x x integral of sin x this is integral of integral of sin x minus 2 times 3 integrals because this d and d can also get cancelled so we'll get 3 integrals of sin x consecutively and you know how to sign us all this integral of sine is minus cos and integral of my integral of my again an integral integral of cos is sine so we'll get a minus sign here so e raised to x minus x sine x and again an integral of this will be integral of minus sine is again minus cos so we'll get a plus cos and that plus cos will remain with the minus sign will be also remaining minus 2 plus cos so this will be the final solution so in this sum what we have done is we first use the method for type 4 we took our areas to x smartly common and then we got 1 upon d square x sin x and then we have used type 5 using this formula and we got this answer it may be also possible you can also do this that if you really realize this this can be integration of integration of x sine x means you you can if you're good at integration this the, i told you what is this uh, why are we learning this we're learning this because we are very scared of integration sometimes right so integrating x sine x first by using by parts and whatever answer you will get again integrate that answer instead of doing that what i did is i fitted this into this formula and i just needed integrals of sine and cos in the last step which we know very well but when you are using by parts you may really get confused by saying x sine x integrating this by parts you will get you know integration by parts give you two terms first term and then the second term and again you will integrate these two terms it may happen that here also you may need a by parts and you know this this may become a lengthy expression which after adjustments will finally turn up to be this expression in a compact form so without doing any integration by parts we could just do that 
integration of integration of x sin x this step by using this formula and get the answer as fast as possible without making any mistake and what we need is just what is integral of sin and integral of cos you don't need any other formula at all so let us go for the next problem solve d square plus 3d plus 2 y to x e raised to 2x okay now we know that to find yp i want to find yp here so to find yp we can look we can view this x into e raised to 2x in two types either you look at as e raised to 2x into x which is e raised to ax into v method or you can even use it look at as x into v where it is x into v is what e raised to 2x method so it, it fits in both the it fits in type 4 also it fits in type 5 also now what we will do is we will solve this problem by the fifth type by type 5 because i want to learn the method of type 5 more thoroughly i know it is easy to solve using type 4 still we are solving it by type 5 so let's write yp is equal to 1 upon d square plus 3d plus 2 x into e raised to 2x which is equal to x into 1 upon fd into v minus the derivative which is 2d plus 3 upon d square plus 2d plus 3 sorry, 3d plus 2 sorry d square plus 3d plus 2 whole square into v is e raised to 2x so this means that here i can use x into this part 1 upon d square plus 3d plus 2 is of type 1 where uh, of type 1 where a is 2 so i can simply replace d by 2 which is 1 upon 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 2 e raised to 2x which is type 1 minus here also 2d plus 3 upon here also d can be replaced by 2 so just 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 2 square e raised to 2x which is uh, x into 1 upon 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 6 is 12 e raised to 2x minus 2d plus 3 upon 12 square e raised to 2x this is x upon 12 e raised to 2x minus 1 upon 144 2d plus 3 is 2d into e raised to 2x plus 3 e raised to 2x which is x upon 12 e raised to 2x minus 1 upon 144 to 4 e raised to 2x plus 3 e raised to 2x to 7 e raised to 2x in, in all so this becomes your yp okay so let me say miscellaneous
problems. And YP. DQ plus one Y equal to E raised to two X sine X. So here you will use this is a sum of type four, which is E raised to AX into V type. There is two and v is sin x fd is dq plus 1 so when i find yp 1 upon fd e raised to 2x sin x by this formula for type 4 it will be e raised to 2x but f of d will be get replaced by f of d plus 2 sin x which is e raised to 2x 1 upon d plus 2 means it is d plus 2 cube plus 1 sin x which is e raised to 2x d plus 2 cube is a cube plus 3a square b means it is 3d square plus 3 ab square which is 3 to 4 is 12 d plus 2 cube is 8 plus 1 is 9 which is sin x so I'll directly write here 8 plus 1 is 9 and this is sin 1 x so a is 1 for sin a x for now I'm using the method of sin a x a is 1 so a square is 1 so this means minus a square is minus 1 so d square will be replaced by minus a square which is minus 1 so this becomes e raised to 2x 1 upon if d square is minus 1 this means d cube will be replaced by minus d multiplying both sides by d so d cube will be replaced by what only because d cube is d square into d right so d square is what d square is minus 1 so this will be minus d plus 6 into d square again d square is minus 1 so it should be minus 6d plus 12d plus 9 sin x which is equal to e raised to 2x 1 upon 12 minus 6 6 and 6 minus am i correct no only minus 6 not minus 60 so this 11d plus uh, 3 i think right 11d plus 3 yes so d square is replaced by minus 1 so and this is sin x now there is no d square here so i will multiply and divide by the conjugate e raised to 2x 11d minus 3 upon 11d plus 3 11d minus 3 sin x which is e raised to 2x 11, 11 square into d square is 121 d square minus 9 to 11 d minus 3 sin x sin 1 x d square will be replaced by minus 1 so the denominator becomes the numerator is 11 d minus 3 upon minus 121 minus 9 which is minus 130 this is minus 1 upon 130 11d minus 3 sin x 
and the same going to multiply to each term so minus 1 upon 30 e raised to 2x right here minus e raised to 2x upon 130 11 d sine x which is cos x minus 3 sine x I think this is the answer find y p is dq sorry d square plus 2y equal to x square e raised to 2x so here again this is of the type 4 which is e raised to ax into v where a is 1 sorry a is 2 and your function v is x square and what is f of d f of d is d square plus 2 okay y p is equal to 1 upon f d x square e raised to 2 x is equal to e raised to 2 x 1 upon f of d plus a a is to e raised into v v is uh, x square is x square which is equal to e raised to 2x 1 upon d plus 2 d square plus 2 I mean d is replaced by d plus 2 is d plus 2 whole square plus 2 x square which is e raised to 2x 1 upon d square plus 4d plus 4 plus 2 into x square which is e raised to 2x 1 upon d square plus 4d plus 6 x square and I know for the method for x power m what is the requirement 1 upon 1 plus alpha or 1 upon 1 minus alpha for x, x raised to m method this is the most tedious method of all these four methods very bad to work out which is equal to e raised to 2x if I take out a 6 common here I will get 1 plus d square by and d squared by 6 plus 4 d by 6 x square and this person d squared by 6 plus 2 d by 3 this is 2 d by 3 this I'm going to call alpha for my simplicity so this is e raised to 2x upon 6 1 upon 1 plus alpha x squared what is 1 upon 1 plus alpha we have written here so it is e raised to 2x upon 6 1 minus alpha plus alpha square no need of writing the higher powers of alpha because I am working with only x square so the third derivative onwards everything will become zero so no need of taking the third power of alpha x square now this is alpha so what is alpha square let, let me just calculate what is alpha square here itself what is the square of this particular quantity it is d raised to 4 upon 6 square plus 2 into a b 2 a b is d square upon 6 into 2d upon 3 plus b square b square is 4 d square upon 9 okay which is equal to e raised to 2x upon 6 
1 minus alpha alpha is d square upon 6 plus 2d upon 3 plus alpha square i have already calculated it this d raised to 4 upon 6 square plus 2d square upon 6 into 2d upon 3 plus 4 d square upon 9 of x square which is e raised to 2x upon 6 into I'm going to multiply x to all the terms inside here so it will be x square minus x square in the double derivative of x square is 2 so that will be 2 upon 6 plus 2 upon 3 into the derivative of x square is 2x plus The fourth derivative of x square is going to be 0. The third derivative of x square, this is d square into d. So this is basically the third derivative of x square is also 0. Plus 4 by 9. This is the second derivative of x square is 2. So I am left with only this much. I'm not going to simplify this. Let it be as it is. 